In this lesson, we're going to talk about adding fractions that have the same denominator, meaning all the fractions have the same number on bottom. So um, it's a real simple process. So let's just start with, with the process and then talk about conceptually what's going on. Um, so to add fractions that have the same denominator, we add the numerators, or the tops, um, put the sum that we get over the shared denominator, and then if there's any simplifying to do, we of course do that. So in this first example, we're simply taking 3 plus 1, add those tops, and putting that sum over the denominator they share, which is 5, and so we end up with, of course, 4 fifths is the answer. Um, let's explore a little bit conceptually what's happening here with this simple example. Uh, maybe I'll represent 3 fifths as this rectangle here, where we're divided into five supposedly equal pieces. So we've got 3 fifths, so that means I want to fill in three of those, and maybe I'll color three of these pieces in green. And then we'll make another one like it where we have one-fifth. So this idea of adding three-fifths and one-fifth is just simply asking if we have three-fifths already, we add one-fifth, what fraction do we end up with? Well, we just are simply counting up how many of these we've colored in. Right? So, what fraction do we have as a result? Well, we still have the same number of equal pieces that we're considering. It's just that now we have a total of four pieces to color in. Right? So that's conceptually what's going on, right? Think of it maybe like a candy bar that breaks into five equal pieces, right? If I eat three-fifths of a candy bar, um, you know, at lunch, and then I took a different candy bar and ate one-fifth of it at dinner. Uh, total in the day, how much of a candy bar did I eat? Well, I ate four-fifths of a candy bar, which could be represented with this picture here. So some other things to be aware of when we're adding fractions with like uh, denominators, or the same denominator, um, is we do have to continue to think about this idea of adding negatives. Okay, just like we did back in chapter 2. So um, I understand here that I have negative 7 ninths plus 1 ninth, so that means when I apply step 1, I'm going to be taking negative 7 plus 1 over 9. Right? So what is negative 7 plus 1, right? Well, their signs are different, so we subtract, so we get 6, but the negative's on the bigger value, so this is negative 6 over 9. And then also, here's where number 3 comes into play. We understand that 6 ninths is not a reduced fraction. And so we look at 6 and 9 and know that uh, 3 is the greatest common factor of those two numbers. So we divide top and bottom by 3. And so when we do that, we get our answer of negative 2 thirds. Now the other um, piece to put in here is the understanding of how to add mixed numbers. And the good news is, to add mixed numbers, you don't really have to do anything differently. Just add the whole parts together. So 5 plus 2 is 7. And then 3 plus 2 is 5 over 7. So you just add whole part plus whole part fraction part plus fraction part. And there's no reducing I need to do here, so this is our answer. And I forgot to box up our previous answer here. All right, finally, we have 3 and 8 elevenths plus 4 and 2 elevenths plus 1 and 1 elevenths. So first let's add up the whole parts. We have 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 1 is 8. Then we have 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and then we put that sum over the denominator. So I have 8 
and 11 elevenths. Okay. So let's understand what 11 elevenths really is. Right? If you have 11 elevenths, that is one whole. So we don't want to leave our answer as 8 and 11 elevenths. So since 11 elevenths is equal to one whole, I would suggest that we just add one more to our whole number. So now we have 9, leaving us with no fraction part at all. So 11 elevenths becomes one whole, which we just add to the 8. So please make sure if you end up with a situation where your, uh, you get a, a, a whole for your fraction part, convert it into another whole, and just add that to your whole number.